Hi, in this video, I will walk through a demonstration of uh, a university recommender. I'm calling it Find My Uni. So, a quick overview. Uh, in this particular recommendation system, we pass two kinds of input. So, that's why it's a multimodal. So, it is uh, textual. So, we say uh, a course name and a student profile in the form of some image. It can be a PNG image or a JPEG image and uh, the recommendations system will return back with a list of universities that it finds fit for that kind of profile. Now the method that we will be using is content based filtering which basically uh, relies solely on the information that is given to the uh, recommender. So in this case it will be a course name and, and what profile the student has and it will try to uh, find similar uh, profiles in, uh, and, uh, and you know, universities that uh, admit similar kind of profiles. So, uh, so uh, again, uh, so this is a demo of that, a quick demo. So you can see this is a web chat kind of interface. It first asks, uh, like it says that I'm a bot and then I'll help you find your dream universities. And then uh, the student will type, hey, find me university offering courses in structural engineering, for example. And uh, the bot will ask uh, the student to upload a profile. Now I'll go ahead and upload a profile, uh, it's a decent one. So a work experience for 36 months and undergrad CGP of 8.0 and IELTS of 9.0. So this is pretty a uh, good uh, profile and based on this the board will recommend a few uh, universities. Yep. So here you can see that structural engineering from University of Sydney, University of Melbourne and something which is very similar to structural engineering I mean so it also like it, it will it, it's not a kind of uh, it, it won't look for just structural engineering but something it knows something which a course which is similar to structural engineering as well so here civil and structural engineering uh, is also recommended so here's another very interesting thing uh, so if we have two profiles one is very good uh, right uh, good academic scores very good uh, experience uh, so it will return as you can see it, you, as you will see some top uh, rated universities but what happens if the profile is not that great so obviously uh, intuitively what should happen is um, if you ask somebody a person a human being uh, that suggests me universities with this profile so they will they will not uh, suggest top rated universities uh, with exact same course but they will uh, suggest something which is very similar to that course but not exactly that so similar thing happens over here here you can see for this kind of profile uh, which is really good uh, it recommends uh, a top rated universities providing exact same course right computer science uh, what will happen is uh, let's say now we'll do another query asking a few other recommendations for a different kind of profile so it asks again for the profile so as you can see here uh, this profile is not that great uh, and you will see that so we have asked for computer science now what it will return back is a set of universities which provide courses similar to that so information technology is a relevant is a very related closer to related field to computer science uh, and also the universities that provide that so you can see like so this is sort of an intelligent system which automatically understand the relationship between the courses and uh, the universities right uh, a different kind uh, similar uh, it, it knows the relationship between similar kind of uh, courses basically so here's the overall architecture of it uh, we'll go walk through each of these components so broadly you can see there are like four components and on the left hand you can see there's a student that interacts with this entire thing uh, at the center of it uh, all is an azure bot service uh, which is provided by uh, microsoft and then also uh, there are other azure services like louis uh, which is for language understanding form recognizer which basically extract text out of written or uh, printed uh, scans or images which we'll be using for extracting student profile. Now, uh, uh, as so this is very, uh, this is in the same way we have seen the demonstration. Uh, at first the student will ask for recommended universities, the bot service will 
uh, ask for uploading an image and then it will combine these two and then send it to uh, the intended service so for Luis it will uh, it will send a text and for form recognizer it will send back a profile information uh, in the form of image and uh, and they will send back the extracted text out of or intent out of these uh, inputs so Luis uh, I mean I have train Louis to extract two kind of intents one is for greeting so if uh, a user says hey hello hi good morning uh, uh, the Louis is trained to handle that and also of course uh, queries like find me universities dot 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 so in that also it will find to try to find the intent and categorize that into a co course query basically and the first one was a greeting query right and uh, apart from the intent it also extracts the entities involved in that query uh, in our case it will be a course name uh, for other use cases it can be anything other than that and uh, form recognizer similarly it will uh, so in the entire image it will locate uh, the text and will try to send back in the form of a JSON object we have to find uh, do some sort of tweaking to extract uh, that uh, text according to our own need so uh, then it will collate this uh, information extracted uh, course name and the profile information and it will send to the Azure, Azure app service uh, which hosts basically this entire recommendation system. this is the brain of the recommender model which is basically so Azure app service hosts three models primarily first is the course encoder second is profile encoder and third is recommendation model now uh, at the input of course encoder uh, we have the course name in the text uh, uh, format and output of this will be in sort of a, a, a vector right? a, a numeric vector and uh, this profile encoder will have similar kind of uh, output so we'll concatenate these two together and we'll pass it through the recommender model and which will predict uh, another set of vector which will be uh, representing what kind of uh, university the uh, student intends to study so it will have basically condensed information of what the student desires now here this this is basically uh, showing the con content based filtering now we have the vector uh, from the recommendation model being predicted and we will compare it against already existing latent vectors which we had uh, saved in the azure app service there in uh, uh, right here and then it will compare and the top matches the one which are most similar to this particular predicted vector will be returned back uh, through uh, the a on the APIs right? because it's an app service so it basically uh, all these models are being served using APIs and web services right so uh, the kind of similarity that we are using is co cosine similarity is a very popular uh, similarity for uh, calculating the uh, how two vectors or features are similar to each other now this is just the same thing what what I have explained so far um, so Azure bot is like at the center of all these interactions Louis extracts intent and entities form recognizer extracts the student profile Azure bot basically does all these um, interactions and then Azure app service basically hosts the uh, models and then returns back the list of recommended universe universities so the kind of deep more learning model that we have used is course encoder profile encoder and we use feature fusion for uh, fusing the two vectors that come out of the course encoder and profile encoder the recommended model works on uh, these two uh, vectors the fused ones and then predicts a new vector that is compared against already saved uh, list of vectors right and then the the top match is top five or right now I've used top five so top five recommendations are sent back to the bot service which again sends back to the uh, the student right so now this is a very interesting thing uh, the whole uh, like how this uh, the conversion from or the training of this this vector happens like how how, how does this prediction of recommender model happens so before so this is what I described so far is just the inference model right so uh, before uh, doing this inference there was a step uh, uh, for training the all these models so for uh, this is this particular case is shown for just the recommendation model but exactly same kind of architecture is being used for the course encoder as well as profile encoder so how do we do that is by using some sort of bottleneck uh, network this is 
um, no, bottle network network and the bottle net networks are being used in computer vision as well deep learning computer vision and natural language processing what basically the whole idea about this is uh, you want to predict the same uh, input so whatever uh, feature is there in the input you want to get that same thing on the output so that what happens is at the center at the middle layer uh, you get uh, the uh, the unique features extracted or in the condensed manner and that's why it's called latent vector right so uh, so this is basically the latent vector that uh, all these course encoder and the profile encoder and the recommendation model basically predict and for our inference we just take this part the first part which is the encoder part for our all the three models right so this is the whole uh, whole uh, description about how these things work the data that i've used is scraped from uh, yocket it's a very popular website uh, in india where uh, it basically has a lot of database on all the international universities and i used beautiful soup for scraping it's a, again a very popular tool for uh, it, it's it's in python so uh, it's very good to use that so and uh, last but not the least i would like to acknowledge uh, uh, Dr. Bahari Nakisa, who is a lecturer and or assistant professor at Applied Artificial Intelligence at Deakin University, uh, whose lectures uh, have been really helpful in building the foundation as well as the uh, advanced knowledge of artificial intelligence and how do we put that into engineering uh, practices. And also, I would like to uh, thank Rao Siddhant Yadav and Rahul Kumar uh, for having great discussions around. Uh, how do we design this entire intelligence systems so thank you all and yeah thanks for watching and let's connect